Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Science is like magic and magic tricks. Astronomy is much like Hogwarts, School of Wizardry and Science Craft. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. This is a tough problem. So, All right, so let me let me get you up to date if I can. This is fascinating. On November 18th, we will have two asteroids, 5.7 kilometers and 4.5 kilometers. Those are freaking huge. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next month or two, we have a bevy of small mountains flying by Earth. In the main concern is always not that they're going to hit us because most of these are definitely over 10 lunar distances away a lunar distance is the distance between earth and the moon but you always get concerned that there's going to be a lot more space junk space junk space debris smaller asteroids that we can't see because it's behind the, the big one ladies and gentlemen welcome to the season of small flying mountains that's right in the next 89 days we have a new record for giant potentially hazardous near-earth asteroids that are passing near earth in the next 89 days we will have 86 near-earth asteroids 71 of which are over 100 meters 35 are over 300 meters and the record setter is the 12 that are over one kilometer between the period of September 17th and December 14th. That is a new asteroid record. Let's meet our dirty dozen. 1987 sandwich fiasco. Three. One kilo muta. 2006 goofy quote. Two. 1.5 kilometers. 2009 funkin groovin. 19, 1.6 kilometers. 2014, Naughty Evangelicals. 5-2, 1.5 kilometers. 2001, Elongated Apple. 16. 2012, Kentucky Yokel. 3, 1.2 kilometers. 2003, Underwhelming Candles. 20, 1.4 kilometers. 2003, right exactly. 7, 1.2 kilometers. 2004, Jazzy Nut Butter. 1, 3, 5.7 kilometers. 1998, Sweet Science. 49, 4.5 kilometers. 2005, Unhappy Housewife 3, 1.8 kilometers. 2006, Vampire Balloons, 1.4, 1.2 kilometers. And the thing I find interesting about this dangerous dirty dozen is that most of them have an interesting inclination. Whereas we like to think of the asteroid belt as flat, it's more of an asteroid belly or an asteroid ball. So I noticed many of the big ones aren't as flat. You know, look at that. That's pretty crazy. What makes you do that? And, and I used to think that space rocks would bump into other space rocks, which would cause other space rocks to bump into other space rocks, causing other space rocks to bump into other space rocks. But apparently that doesn't happen because they don't change the orbits much and, you know, there's never really any fear of any of these giant asteroids coming up, you know, and smashing into a bunch of rocks. It's just not something they worry about. So I'm like, okay, if you guys ain't worried, I ain't worried. Just go out to my kiddie pool out back, drag my blankie over, and then I will be safe. Nothing can hurt me. Okay, that's not true. Okay, and remember, NASA was tasked to find 90% of nearby potentially dangerous asteroids larger than 140 meters. And apparently they're way behind 
their congressional ordered mandate. Granted, they are underfunded, they lack the resources, and they don't seem to have any leadership at the moment. I was imagined NASA is one of the places that is above excuses that you make it work. If it doesn't work, you take the blame. Well, that's not the case anymore. So let's take a look at these near Earth objects. As you can see, yesterday, 1987 San Francisco 3 passed 63 lunar distances and was up to one kilometer. All right, for now, let's just count the huge ones over a kilometer. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven asteroids larger than one kilometer passing by between now and December 7th. Now, Astro Mutt, Hydra, Daza, any other professional or amateur astronomer who wants to debunk me, saying, oh, this is a normal amount of giant freaking asteroids. No, it's not. I've been watching this list for a while, and I've never seen 11 asteroids bigger than one kilometer on this list ever. Not even close. I think the closest I've seen is like three or four. Now, granted, 65 lunar distances, 34 lunar distances, 61. None of them are coming reasonably close to Earth. So they are not the danger. What we are watching here is more trends. And if you want a little doom cookie, here's a little doom cookie for you. Asteroid 2014 NE52 was just found this year. And it could be up to 1.5 kilometers. We're still finding giant mountain-sized asteroids to this day. All the ones I'm showing you now are over 140 all right, let's take a look at their orbit, see if we can pick up some patterns. This one almost looks like a shuttle to Mars. All aboard. Whoop, going to Mars. Okay, now who's coming back to Earth? Whoop, going back to Earth. Okay, we're going back to Mars. Whoop. I bet Mars is a fun place to party on. You know, if they announced that you can breathe on Mars, I wouldn't be surprised. This is my favorite. 2014 quantitative easing, 365 days out of the year. That's right, you're going to be getting your Federal Reserve POMO Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you're a primary dealer bank or heavily invested in equities and commodities. If not, sorry buddy, you're screwed. So this shows NASA has a sense of humor as we've got our Mars shuttle picking people up from Earth, Venus, Mercury, taking them back to Mars. For the big quantitative easing party. My 26. Got another Mars shuttle here, picking people up from Earth, taking them back to Mars. Why do you think NASA is so fascinated by Mars, man? Another Sirius Vesta region, OB-112, GQ-2. 2005, Vortex Nursery, 1. 2001, Wonderful Caboose, 1. 2007, Atom Bumper, 2. 2008, Uncock Xerox 1987 Watermelon Charade 2014 Macho Quiz 67 2003 Vibrating Candles 20 1999 None Done 43 2014 Munchy Knothole 55 2001 Educated Apple 16 1993, Glue Donut, 2012, Trapeze Sandwich. They put sandwich in there twice. Tra trapeze Sandwich and Sandwich Fiasco. They must be getting lazy in their naming. 2000, Trebuchet Haymaker, 1. 2014, Haunted Rum, 178. 2012, Volcano Wagon, 136. 2007, Doodle Liquor, 41. 2007, Revolting Yearbook, 19. 2014, <laughs> Meat Yogurt, 26. That sounds gross. 2014, 266, Quixotic Quest. 2014, Quicksand Visit, 169. 
We got a lot of big ones coming in. However, the Guardians have need of you. The asteroid barrier separating the Forgotten Zone from Guardian space. The what now? Let me play a fun game real quick. Let's see which one I got to observe the most. 182. Not our winner. 238. Not our winner. 145. Not our winner. 76. So out of all the other asteroids, the winner of this pack that has been observed the most is 2006 VB14. Vibrating bed, 14. They looked at it 703 times in six years, which is kind of interesting considering 80, eight years, 347, 15 years, 305 in about 40 years. They first saw this in 75. 311 in 11 years, 350 in 58.2 years. They found that one in 1954. That one being 2003 UC20. They found this one in 2012, 13 years, 311 finds, 125 days. Remember, they only found this a couple months ago. Eight years, 238. 26 years, 182. Yep, so the winner is VB14 for the most interesting, I guess. Asteroid math. Asteroid numbers, asteroid stuff. The impact threat from NEOs is always present, so it's probably a good idea for our civilization to learn as much about them as we can. In fact, one asteroid named Apophis will make a close encounter with Earth in 2029. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. There you go. Interesting times indeed. And it's taken me a couple days to make this video. And 1987 sandwich fiasco passed. On the 17th, we had a 9 meter, 7 meter asteroid pass within 0.2 lunar distances of Earth. So my theory might be correct. So keep your eyes to the skies. Stay wise. Be cool. Stay cool. Live long and prosper. May the force always be with you. And it's time to fight these asteroids. How is that space program coming along? God bless everybody. No fear. Man, those are my favorite bumper stickers back in the 90s. Nothing, I guess. Sweet. All right. When I move, you move. Man, I woke up in a Bugatti. These haters can't hold me back.